WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive territory. S&P's right now up two points, trading at 31.94. Dow Jones up four points, trading at 28,271. NASDAQ positive by 19 points, trading at 88.42. Gold contract off about a dollar at 14.79. Oil with some volatility. We had crude numbers this morning. Oil up 13 pennies at 61.07. And notes and bonds, we're getting a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10-year, negative 11 ticks at 128.03. The 30-year bond off 29 ticks at 155.29, and the dollar index catching a bid up 175 ticks at 97.399. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. Pretty tight trading range. We are one week from Christmas today. The Dow trading 28,295. You see the chart up there. You're only talking about 40 Dow points that we've been trading in since about 4 a.m. this morning as the market just marches higher and we march into tame territory of holiday season. NASDAQ 100 up near the highs of the session trading at 86.30. s and is trading at 31.99 looking at the March futures contract. We did make it above 32.02 just in the last two hours. Crude oil, there's your volatility. We see the price of crude at the 10.30 EIA number trade from about $60 and 35 pennies. We're now above $61 in the price of crude, trading $61.07. Gold contract, $14.79. We've had a little bit of volatility in both directions of the price of gold today. And the euro, U.S. dollar, trading at $111.18. In terms of what else you have happening in the world, in the market, pretty historic day as the House counts down the final hours to a historic Trump impeachment vote. That vote scheduled to take place this evening. President Trump could be the only third president ever impeached. Earnings season still in full swing. FedEx quite a number last night as their shares slide after missing earnings expectations and lowering the 2020 guidance. This on the heels of the news Monday that Amazon had told their third party sellers that they are no longer allowed to use FedEx as the shipping company of choice and to see how that is hitting FedEx so far this morning. This is a longer term chart, but we'll drill it down short term. You got FedEx down at even 10% right now at 146.85. That's off 168 on Monday. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. We'll be right back.